Wardell Caesar Smith, born in Des Moines, Iowa, 1936. 64, I got a call from the Pentagon. Um, basically what he said is you got, you're going to get orders for Korea, but if you wanted to, you could volunteer to go to Vietnam. But we were all working with the Vietnamese uh, military. There were four of us on a team, and we'd be assigned to a Vietnamese infantry battalion. As they went out on operations, we were there to support them and give them some tactical advice, possibly. And under fire, of course, you fought like everybody else. But I think the idea was try to let the South Vietnamese know that we were in this war with them, that we were going to support them, that we were there for the long haul, and that if they needed our help, we were going to be there. But they had to fight the war, they had to fight the war. Uh, from my perspective, their heart was never in the war. I mean, they're fighting against their own people. The battalion commander that we worked with at the time, and I ended up being his advisor, had fought uh, against the Japanese in World War II and the French. And so he'd been around a long time in military. So it was kind of like, do I really need to give him advice or should I be listening on how we're going to stay alive? Because he knows more about this country and how to survive in it than I do. The first time I'd been in the combat area. So the first time we got shot at was a, a new experience for me. Like, what do I do now? I got Parkinson's now and I tremor and I shake. But it was nothing like I shook that first night we got shot at. Six months I was with the battalion, and then the last six I was an advisor to their uh, military academy. I was in country when the first American units came in country in 65, and they were talking about how quickly they were going to get this war over with. They, they hadn't been out on the battle yet, and uh, it was just, uh, you should sit there and shake your head, they have no idea what they're going to be up against or how. Mm -hmm. So I think there were some painful lessons learned uh, starting out uh, by American units.